only girl cousin right now. people today is a sad day but it's a happy day because Max has joined us again for another building of thy episode so these window holes are all made for those old sash windows yeah single glaze really old school windows and Max has hooked us up with a bunch of commercial glass that we're gonna put in here instead of the old crappy windows which is great but this means this entire wall has to get reframed so we have to do it kind of carefully because this is a load bearing wall <laughs> so basically I think we're going to kind of remove a stud or two probably maybe we're going to start with one stud at a time I don't know uh, yeah we're going to start with one stud and uh, we're just going to go side by side because our window widths are all the same right 26 and 3 quarter yep but we're going from 32 inches to 26 and three quarters. So we're in a canoe and we don't have any paddles, but we're gonna pick up whatever we can to get down river. Maybe I need a longer. That one feels. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it's like freaking 16 inches long. because we're gonna remove these two load bearing walls but it's still supported with two major big there's a double stud over here and this is a triple stud better to be safe than sorry I know you're probably thinking hey Graham why aren't you doing it this is your cabin well if someone's gonna risk their life instead of me I'll let them take it it's my it's my grandma on the phone I gotta take this Was I recording? I literally just said that that's why Max is doing it because he's risking his life and he just about died. <laughs> You guys will be happy to know that because these are oh, a little sawdust. Because these windows are heavy, and my window guys here, we're gonna put proper jacks and stuff to support each window, and it's making up some room because, uh, well, it'll be slightly wider, and so those three windows that we're gonna try and fit are gonna be a little bit more narrow for the middle. Right, are we doing three? Huh? I don't know. Just watch. this wall again because we're gonna do two side by side 48 inch 
like those big pieces of glass right here and then two smaller but similar width or identical width glass above it then everything beyond this beam which is kind of middle ground of the cabin is going to be identical windows it's going to be awesome everything has to be done three times because three third, times the charm third times the charm for today so we'll have to pick it up later Yikes! it's a little bit windy out so not sure if you can hear me so I'm just gonna keep framing this in and getting it ready for the windows strong and I'm strong too. I'm strong too. Ow. Ah, oh, come on. FaceTiming Max to see if I can get his approval. Oh my gosh, he's getting a haircut. Did she just rub a balloon on your head and then cut it? <laughs> Yo, dude, check out what I came up with. To keep the gap nice and big, I put this bracket in here so it's super strong. The glass will fit in between. I don't have to do any notching. Yeah, that'll work. I can hang on it and it doesn't even move. All right, well, just needed your approval. Heck yeah, baby, we square, baby, woo! Okay, now we gotta frame it up because we did decide that we're doing two massive ones here and then two half massive ones up here. How many times can I redo something? How many times can I make a big mistake? How many times can I redo stuff? How many times? I ask. I'm starting to think that really this YouTube channel should just turn into a big old drinking game. Every time I make a mistake, you take a shot. Bang. Cabin will be 
done and it will be awesome. I'm mean, really, that's why I made the mistake because I wanted to make sure this flashing worked. And after thorough testing, I'm happy to say it worked. All right, I need more two by sixes to continue framing out that portion of the wall. But this wall is pretty much good to go. I just gotta put a little bit more OSB on the front facing portion so everything's the same width or thickness. So what I can do now is, yeah, just get the OSB all trimmed out or scabbed on I guess you'd say and then I can put my uh, window uh, flashing on for like the tenth time. As soon as I get the window flashing on uh, all I gotta do is put up my pressure treated trim, my exterior trim that I was gonna keep all the windows in and then this thing is ready for glass so let's try and do that today so uh, we can get some glass in this this weekend. Woo! Cue the music. You know what, I woke up this morning and I was absolutely fired up. I don't even think I had a cop. oh no, no, I definitely had a coffee. But I was just, I was fired up. I'm sure you guys heard me singing and just dancing a little bit, ah, things were good. But like anything, especially when you're repairing and fixing a bunch of mistakes that you've made or I made in the past on this, you can't help but feel a little bit deflated because I'd love to know how much further this cabin would be if I didn't make all these mistakes, especially with this window wall. But again, this happens to everybody. And if I give up now, well then I, it will all be for nothing. May that be an encouragement to you, even though sometimes things feel a little repetitive and it feels like you're treading water and really not going anywhere to press on because those bulbs have been planted and when the weather is just right, they will spring into beautiful flowers. <laughs> How is that for an analogy? Well, I think we're gonna call it right there, folks. And uh, today is Saturday, so I'm still, I'm a day behind on releasing an episode for you guys. And I'm going to try and put these windows in tomorrow. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching and hanging out. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the dinger so you know when I got new videos coming your way. And uh, that's it for now. Peace.